what is going on boys and girls of youtube we got jungle again but i was thinking about something i haven't tried any of the guardians with the mask start so in the jungle we're really used to just seeing kind of bumbas like 90 percent of the time and then 10 percent of the time you're going out of the jungle and then on like arachne you go mannequins right but now that masks are buffed and potential items i haven't really i've used them a couple of times while streaming but i haven't really tested them or Put them you know to a full test so i want to try that i want to uh, ymir is a beefy jungler in general if we go the mask then our late game should be insane so we're gonna try it out and just see where it goes i i know some of you guys have tested it i know double j has posted a couple videos on it people have been telling me uh but i haven't tested it so we're gonna go fighter's mask if you don't understand how the fighter's mask works works now uh basically before fighter's mask was a regular item and when you built it you did more damage but you took more damage and it, it was pretty much a terrible item because you never want to take more damage now as you level up you do more damage and you take less damage but once it's level 15 you can turn it into rangda's mask and rangda's mask gains a stack of weakness for I guess it removes a stack of weakness. You start out with five, removes a stack of weakness for every uh, 55 power you have, right? Or 90 magical power, I guess, the magical card. So essentially, if you build full damage, you can remove that whole extra damage taken stat from the item. And then it just becomes a really high damaging item and you kind of just destroy people. So that's what we're going to uh, test out here. We're going to build that fighter's mask. We are going to take a little bit more damage in the early game. But in the mid to late game, we should be pumping. And if we're power farming properly, then we'll hit level 15 before everyone else. And then we'll just stop. We'll just clap everybody. And it'll be nuts. Plus, if we want, we could just, you know, we're going to go the poly. We could go, oh, I should have hey, gone beads here. They have a lot of CC. I think Magni is dash. Yep. I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. That's fine, dude. That's fine. I hope he doesn't dash this camp so we can actually clear mid notice you uh you also get extra mp5 when you have fighter's mask so you don't really go oom super easy oh he is dashing that's exactly what i didn't want him to do my two is on a short cooldown so it's okay we do get the lane fast so i'll take it or i get the lane fast i guess i'm gonna focus on killing these creeps we need to clear this that's what i was worried about I'll be fine here. We're going to take a lot of damage. Uh, that's the problem with taking dash because he doesn't dash the wave. So in reality, you get out cleared 99% of the time unless the Agni's got big balls and will commit to the, the lane clear. All right. I'm going to go back to mid since he hasn't cleared any creeps yet. And I will just get extra farm off of this. Oh, he did kill her. I didn't think he got those creeps. Got him. Good on him. They're going to contest these mids, so I might just let them go. They should contest the mids, at least. Oh, we're just going to get out of cleared all day with Agni. Agni's early game is rough, so I want to stay away from him. Not because he's necessarily a terrible player or anything like that. It's just really... Ooh. Might be able to catch him here out of position. I'm going to go for these clears. Agni should have dash up. Never mind, he doesn't have dash up. Oh, this is not good. Enemies in middle leg. Your middle tower is under attack. <laughs> no, she had the bleed. That's a good play. They knew I was going to go for those mids. They probably warded them. My Agni just not doing what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> not at all. Just let it, let the clear. When you're in that situation, let them clear. Let them have the clear and then just dash the wave and clear it on your tower line. It'll make your life a lot less hectic and just kind of even out the farm though they won't be getting extra kills they won't be getting extra farm and the game will come to you you're trying to force the game to you also if you're playing agni you don't need sands of time go into the gem the conduit gem is just op it's the, like the best clear item in the game <laughs> right now it got buffed a while ago so it does extra damage to creeps and that extra damage is ridiculous so now we're gonna be a little behind when we didn't want to be it's okay i just gotta stay away from this mid lane like i was mentioning just just let him you know, sit there in AFK farm and we need to focus on ourselves. We'll be all right. Okay. It's mine, bud. 
Boom. Does this suck? Never mind, it doesn't suck. He dead. Secured is blue. I use so much mana there though, but we're also regening a ton of mana because of that mask. So I'm just gonna keep farming for right now. That was ridiculous. Thanks, pal. Really didn't want to split that, but it is what it is. Gonna go to mid. I need to hit five early because his dodgy has alt now. And if the dodgy hits me with alt, I'm just gonna get pulled because I didn't go beads. Because I got greedy, or I went the greedy start. So there's level four. Agni soloed red. So Agni, realistically, right there, should have just cleared mid, and then we could have gone to red together. Magni's gonna do some weird dash here. Yep. <laughs> yep. Saw that one coming. I'm just gonna get out of mid lane. I'm one creep off of five. I didn't get that last creep, sadly. I'll get it off of green, though. Dodgy probably gonna go left. That's where she should go. It's the safest kills because they're on the tower line. And they have no CC immunity on that Hoi. I'm gonna go help out. I will probably die unless I can late gank, counter gank. There's the dodgy, like I said, was gonna happen. See that coming from a mile away. Didn't get the kill on Cupid, sadly. I'm low, man. A really good Ho Yi ult. So the fact that he just got his Ho Yi ult is huge. And this Cupid ult, which is huge. And that should be a kill from the creeps. There we go. I get the kill as well, so I'm happy. And I'm just going to clear this wave. That ends up being a really good counter gank. My team did a good job kind of running around and avoiding damage. I also got the CC on the Cupid and the ult on the Cupid, so he wasn't really part of the fight. And there we go. We can get a health pot. Get a ward, get some vision out. Dodgy didn't ult us. Where our ult should be on a similar cooldown to Dodgy. Probably going to be up at the exact same time. So as long as I'm holding my ult for Dodgy, I'll be fine until I get beads. And now my Agni is bullying mid. That's where, you know, the first three levels. I said, oh, he dove the tower, so he died. All right, well, he was bullying that Scylla until he overcommitted. He's not playing smart, but he's at a point now where he's going to be useful in the game and not really just get run through, which is good. Gonna, I was gonna go to that mid wave. Nice job. Another tower dive, sadly. Gonna go drop this blue so it doesn't get invaded. That is too bad, buddy. That is too bad. Sometimes it sucks to suck. And he should make it to that blue easily, as long as he doesn't sit in base doing nothing. I'm gonna go tag this wave. Is he FTP? His TP's not up. So yeah, I'm gonna go tag this wave, steal it, push it into the tower. And probably get this totem form. I want to invade the blue, but if I invade the blue, my Guan won't be here. And their soul laner will be here. So that's really risky and not the smart play. Rather just take the totem, play for my life, and head towards mid lane. Uh, and try to hit level 12 early so we can get beats. Oh, shoot. Saving my ult here. Oh, okay. This I don't know what that was. It was interesting, to say the least. That sucks. I'm tanking, so I can't dive. Someone just blinked. I'm going to go look for the red invade. The ADC could be rotating. He just said he's missing. Red's not up, sadly. So that means left mid should be up. Nice. Yes, we will get you the jungle buff, buddy. The three-way split on the mid camps. Yeah, love to see it. By love, I mean you hate it. it hurts your soul. This Agni is like full committed <laughs> using stun to clear red and everything. He's he's about it, dude. He is about it. No hate, just shocking. Back, our speed's about to be up. We're going to play for that Polynomicon. And you really just want to look for more damage uh, after this, in my opinion. You can grab more pen. We can look at Spear of the Magus. It would be pretty strong. We could go into divine ruin but they don't have a lot of healing they have the cupid but it's not a, not enough for me to care i don't think right now to rush the divine ruin really cheap strong item though because i do want to go soul reaver i do want to go ob shard and i think i want to go rod of tahuti i haven't tested rod yet in this build but i think rod maybe rod next after this and then soul reaver and then ob shard will be my full build i'd be able to kill this guy he should have physical defense and not magic defense oh yeah Uh, good plays. Guan's playing great. 
to be honest. And oh, Mulan is very squishy. He's got a little bit of magic defense, but not enough for me to care. Uh, no cam. See, no camps are up. I don't have my ult up because I used it for that kill, so I do have to be a little afraid of the dodgy. Hopefully, she doesn't know that uh, my ult's on cooldown. Whoop. You didn't see anything? Close your eyes. Oh, she's on the other side of the map. I might go over there, Scorpion, since she's in left. You clear these really quickly with this build. Goodness gracious. Could go for a mid kill. I'm going to level up the three instead of the ult. Basically because I'm saving that ult all the time. I'm not just rushing down that ult because I don't have beads yet. I need two more levels. There we go. Got both scorpions. That's that's almost 100 extra gold for my team. Uh, this guy might look to get aggro. Yeah, I see that. Just poking him out as much as possible. He lives too. Nice. Huge. I think I'm just in a back here. I want to drop his blue, but we need to get out before Dodgy gets here. Plus we have Polly online. Get another life potion or health potion. Get a ward and then I'm going to go rate right from speed. Oh, he's looking for the Agni. Oh, what is my Agni doing? My Agni never should have contested that. That was so stupid because I, I can't even catch that. I'm just going to go farm. If the Agni just leaves there, he lives. Like the Agni literally just walks back to the edge of his tower, the back of his tower, he lives. Never split a speed buff with a jungler, dude. Never do that. <laughs> it's so much farm I lose. Like I should be level 11 right now. I should be, you know, a quarter of the way into level 11, but I'm not because I split speed buff. That's a buff you cannot split with a jungler. Oh, my jungler does blue with me though. No, you need help on blue. And that's part of my jungle farm. That is not part of, I don't get lanes. I don't get the, I'm not, if I go to your wave, can I go get a whole wave from you? Can I go leech all wave? You don't want me to do that, right? So don't go near my buff. You gotta know better when you're not a jungler. Let the jungler have his, his farm. Dodgy might be right since these, all these back camps are gone or she might have backed. I don't know which. I'm gonna go probably get a kill here again though. I have to get away from the dodgy ult. Probably could get a kill here. We'll definitely go for a kill here actually. Definitely going for a kill there. Uh, we go check blue. A little risky if the support comes over, but not the end of the world. Leveling up the ult now because I can back and get my beads. Oh yeah, look at how fast you clear. Goodness gracious. I want to have a little bit more CDR. I wasn't planning on stacking a lot of CDR and I said I wanted to go Rod next, but I want CDR. The problem is I don't want to go Staff of Mirrodin and I don't want to go Soul Gem because I already have Lifesteal. So getting a CDR item is pretty... Like it's Chrono spend it. I'm not going to do that. I think we'll, we'll just go low CDR. We'll go for the early red pot, I guess. I think that's our best bet right now. The Rod, the rod of Tahuti will slap and we can go upgraded Rod, which will be nice. 8 to 7. I don't know how this is 8 to 7 when I have 7 kills. Iguana six to six. I need someone in mid. Just play back, bro. You don't need anyone in mid. You're playing up for no reason. I can kind of leave this solo lane alone, I think. Oh, nope, I can't. All right, should have seen that one coming. Might be out of range. Yep, so close. Got him. He tried to play to slow me and then jump over to his Kumba. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't just keep trying to run and run around that. I'm going to check his speed buff. So I made his complaint even though we have three people in solo and we're winning the, the 2v3. It's kind of weird. Don't be that guy. Don't be that mid laner. Don't be that side lane. Just live. Just play your life. Play your life means you play to live. You're not playing to farm. You're not playing to rotate. You're not playing to make any plays. You're playing to live. Play your life. If you learn how to do that in video games, you will be so much of a better player. You will be drastically better as a gamer. Um, I'm going to grab these and then probably go try to kill this duo lane. 
Because I have so much farm. 15 seconds on my ult. I blink up. This guy should just die. Oh, never mind. My support went in kind of early. So they might not die now. Wait, what? Okay. Enemy ultimate. Enemy ultimate. Down. The hunter's He just dash came up. He was dashing out right then. Oh my gosh. That was so close. I was debating on not ulting. I was like, oh, my hell you'll get this. And then he was kind of slow about even letting an auto attack go. So I did not have faith. I'm going to drop his purple. Hopefully he comes over here. He's not coming over here. So I'm just going to drop it. And we're going to back. Eh. I'm 200 gold off, man. Realistically, I'd like to back and then just go to speed. But because I'm so far ahead, I might as well just play for this rod of duty. Need 100 gold and I'll get it off this side farm. My Agni literally just needs to play back. Right. The Kumba's ulting under tower for no reason. I think it's because they are like, oh, we, we, we've killed this Agni already. Let's keep killing him. It's pointless. My Agni is not worth very much. He's 0 4. His build is terrible. Never double stack on Agni. That is not the what you do on that god. Divine would have been a solid pickup or just the Spear of the Magus would have been god tier. Agni has continuous damage, dots, you know, multi ults. Play around that and build around that. Good dive from my Guan Yu. Good rotation. Hopefully my team doesn't die because I'm backing. Yep. <laughs> there goes Agni again. They're fighting in mid for no reason. It's, you don't need to. Stop fighting in mid. The sooner this community processes that there's nothing in mid to fight over, your life will be better. You will be a happier gamer. Stop fighting in mid 24-7. It's okay to take the occasional out of position fight, but 24-7 fighting is so dumb. So stupid. He just gave Mulan a ton of farm. That, that's what's happening out of this, if you didn't realize. The Dodgy got some kills, so she got some levels. And the Mulan is free farming now in that solo lane. Because we fought in mid, we dove in mid. And not only did we dive in mid, we dove in mid when I wasn't there. Or, you know, in this case, it's me because I'm 10 and 1. But whenever the big mamma jam on your team isn't there, don't fight. Um, I might be able to play this guy. Should dash right away. We kill that guy super easy. Have to use our blink, but we don't have to alter anything else or beads. So that's good. My wife calling me. Get a ward up. That's my favorite spot to ward if you haven't noticed. I just destroyed that guy. Body blocked him so I get some more time on my all. He got played. Uh, we should be able to do fire. I'm gonna do this while I wait for the Agni to come over. We should just do fire. Come on. I do not want to tank this. I see seed, interrupt the cast. You can interrupt that cast on Pyromancer, the little channel. If you use a CC on Pyro during that, it will interrupt it, even though it doesn't actually CC the Pyro. Another surrender, man. We're only up 3K gold. Almost 4K, but 3K gold. I want to try one of these full builds for once. For once, I want to get to full build. That was going to work. I was chunking and I was just going to be doing more and more and more damage. And that's the thing. Like my damage was going to go way up. All right. Let's see what we got here. We did 14K damage in what was that? A 14, 16 minute match. I double, almost double their dodges damage. Goodness gracious. Uba. I got to test out fighters mask a little bit on Ymir. It's hard to get a full game right now because apparently I'm just stomping everybody and they can't handle it. But the more I thought about Fighter's Mask, I was like, well, Bologna feels good in general, right? Especially when you auto attack Bologna, um, if you're playing purely around that. But why not try Fighter's Mask with kind of like uh, like a Nemesis play style where you can go Aaron die, you can still go the Golden Blade and see how it plays out. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to test that theory, see where it goes. And really, just Bologna's a fun jungler in general. So I can only imagine when you're doing extra damage, a ton of extra damage, that she's just going to get more, be more and more fun. Like there's no downside to it at that point, as long as you're keeping up with the farm to make sure you aren't taking too much extra damage. Plus you get CC immunity on the ultimate. Going blink isn't really a huge loss. They have a weird team comp. Hell, they have a lot of healing. So I might go some anti-heal here. Maybe I'll go brawlers uh, with this build. So the goal here really is... Fighter's Mask, right? Golden Blade. And then probably 
Erendite, and then Exe, and then Brawlers. But they have a lot of heal. They have like pure healing out of two of their gods. So I might go Brawlers earlier. Maybe we'll just go Exe late. We'll go Golden Blade, Erendite, Brawlers. This will go away. Golden Blade. Why does that not go away as soon as you're off of it? Like, that's really weird. Erendite, Brawlers, Exe Kins. Because that should slap. That should be insane. Oh my gosh, my mouse is going nuts. That should be an insane build. I haven't tested that build either. Usually when I've been playing Bologna, I've just been playing around the auto attacks and Golden Blade. So we'll see where this goes. We're gonna start with our two, give us the best clear possible. This skin is not it. This is this is not a, not a good skin. Full clear, love to see it. We got CPD one rogue. Mm, he went bluestone too, so his clear's gonna be decent. Instead of the double transcendent start. I'm gonna save my ability since he used his. Our clear was pretty slow, I'm gonna be honest. Shouldn't be the end of the world. Mannequins is clear, makes clear so much better. This guy dies. Or not, or he lives, or he lives, or he lives. Ooh, that was a good Aegis from him. The fact that he's in a beads means he's easy kill target. And our clear is about to be... We're going to be in full control of this lane here in a second. Exactly. I want to get kicked into the tower. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This dude is undervaluing the Bologna 1, man. The Bologna 1 blocks are annoying to play around. I'm going to ward up back here. Don't see him, so that's good. We're trying to take the side creeps real fast. And he just really messed up here. So it's going to look like he's winning the 1v1, but in reality, as soon as I start blocking, he's not. He can't win this 1v1. He can't win the auto trade. I don't know what he's doing. Not sure what he's doing. He definitely thought he won the auto trade, but the blocks you get off of your 1 are insane. Like, you miss... <laughs> the fact that you get an auto... He's getting an auto blocked every... You know, what is it? Three or four autos is just GG. And we want to get out of here real quick. We don't want to stick around for too long. So I'm going to run around this corner and then just back. I'm really low HP. Seems like Baba Yaga was just headed towards me. Which is strange. I don't know if that's because he was pinging it or crying about it or what. Our speed's back up. So we can just go through the left rotation of camps now. And we have first blood. And him standing there and just trading like that. He also had a Bumbas. If he had a Mannequins, I could have seen him winning that. Fighter's Mask versus Mannequins. Mannequins is just a better early game, but Fighter's is a mi better mid game and late game. Mannequins is just such a good item. Fighter's Mask will probably end up being something you just want to go on Guardians in the jungle for fun. Uh, like, I need to try Kabrakin with it and a couple other gods, but in reality, the odds of you dropping, you know, on Bologna going Fighter's Mask over Mannequins is pretty low. Mannequins is nuts. Especially since you have Cleave Autos. Like, it's nuts. Keeps your sustain up too, a little bit more than Fighter's Mask does. Come on, dude. I'm not holding this. I will not be holding camps today. Yep, there you go. There you go, buddy. Good rotation. Going to level up to two, so we have that big damage slam because we are going to go a higher power build, higher damage build. Oh, he's shook. Okay, he's kind of messing up here. Uh, he's he's committed way too far into these like these camps. I don't know why. Way too committed to a camp. Get a little bit of poke there. Notice how I angled so I could hit him and get away with it. This is risky. I might die for this. Gilgamesh should be here. My ADC is here to help, which is good. I'm just gonna try to clear this fast because I know that jungler is coming out of the base and he's coming out of the base with the movement speed. So I do not want to challenge that. I'm just going to go straight to our red. I'll give up mid camps for this because I want to stay safe and I want to get the golden blade online. I want to really just get back to buy it. And we're dropping our red first so they can't invade this. Can't counter invade. I need my mid to be here though. And he's... Come on, bud. Come on, bud. There you go. Get me out of here. Ooh, and we get the mid wave. Nice. Now this is greedy. Do not recommend doing with this at all. 
<laughs> you do this if you want to be greedy and potentially die and throw away a lot of that lead you just gained. So Golden Blade's online. I'm going to grab a ward, grab a potion, and just get right back to my farm rotation. I'm a little late to the speed, but it's not the end of the world because we're only late since we invaded the red. We got our own red secured. We got that mid wave. Got a lot of XP. I'm two level, yeah, level and a half up on this Gilgamesh, but should really quickly get a two level lead here. Two level lead right now. It's really closer to a level and a half, maybe a little bit less than that. As soon as I drop blue though, we'll get the full two level lead. He's clearing really slow. The Gilgamesh has just put himself in a bad spot. Okay, there he hit five. But, ooh, ooh, oh, oh, oh yeah, we're going for this. Nope. You're not securing that, but <laughs> sorry, you are not gonna execute that kill for me. That'll be mine. I held my alt there so he could be in the fight if he wanted to be. But since he was just going for the secure kill, the base of the chaos, I'm not not having that. Not letting that one go through. That's my kill, buddy. I need the farm. Did he just dash in mid? I I know the supports here, but I don't. I think he just dashed. Oh, oh, he just messed up so bad. Can you just AFK under the tower? Okay, he just silenced my two right there, right as the slam was going on. Nice job, team. Don't know where their jungler is, still. My dogs are barking like crazy, and I don't know why. Okay, we're doing this. He just zoomed himself. All right, <laughs> pay attention to your mana guys. I don't know what he was doing. Goodness gracious. My guy said what a body block, but that was not my body block. The, the Baba Yaga messed up. She dashed in place because she freaked out and didn't know where to go. This is risky since my ult's not up, so I could take a lot of damage here. All right, that one you can have. <laughs> That one you can have, dude, because if you don't you don't execute that, we probably end up dying. So I'm gonna back now, and we're gonna get started on that Erendite, which will get us some CDR. We'll be able to spam a little bit more. I'm trying to see what my dogs are barking at, but I have no idea. My German Shepherd's just going nuts. So like I said, Erendite, there it is. That movement speed off the alt's gonna be cracked. Be like I said, similar to what you get from Nemesis. Where you can alt in and keep chasing if you want to. Or use it to run away. So gives you a little bit of that feeling. Uh, it's an initiation alt. And then I need anti-heal. Toxic Blade would be good, especially since I'm going into the Kins. But Brawlers would also be good because it would instantly apply. Get my extra range on my autos. All right, he has Aegis. Oh, no silence this time. That. We're gonna keep fighting here. We're not afraid of this guy at all. He's three levels down on us. We have no care in the world. My MC lived. Oh wow. I did not realize. I thought he died. He went back to the lane too. He's a greedy gamer. Alright, we have that speed timer. We'll go ahead and take these backs. Just with him being that far behind. It. Oh. Um, he's pretty committed. Nice turn. Great turn from my MC. That was beautiful. He played around that all perfectly. And this jungler is just full tilt. If you can't tell that he's full tilt, you haven't played much smite because he is as tilted as it gets. Don't have to use my blink here, which is nice. He, oh, I missed. I was going to say he missed, but I missed. Nice. I whiffed. His was more important, though. He needed that heal to land. Keep forgetting I have golden blade. My clear is nuts. That lane clear is nuts. We have Aaron died online. They're probably going to surrender again. I I don't know what is going on, but in so many of my games, no matter what, where I'm playing at, uh, these people are just not taking, taking this game properly at all. That is questionable. They're building right, honestly. Just playing really poorly. <laughs> it, it happens in the mid lane. They lose the mid lane at the level one too, and I see like a lot of people do this. They'll lose mid lane. Even my Agni kind of did it last game. Uh, that I was recording and that you freak out you you don't just do the standard gameplay stuff you don't play around the way you're supposed to be playing and you just get punished for it 
I have eight kills. Oh my gosh. I also see a lot of these gods being played in lanes that shouldn't be. Like, I don't think people should be playing Hell Solo ever. I think, especially in the current meta, you should be playing Guardians and Warriors heavily in that solo lane. They're really easy to play and they're really, really strong. Oh, I got some kills and now I'm going to go into, I'm going to go Brawlers. I want to see how it feels. Um, I don't need beads, but I'm going to go beads in the event that I want to stop from being locked down by Gilgamesh. And Horus. We can pre-beads the Horus knock up, Horus stun to get a two off. I'm huge. I'm just massive. I'm going to drop red and then I'm going to kill mid. I haven't been to this duel lane yet this whole game. So we need to do, do that for him. See, there's the pre-beads on this guy. Oh, he had a really good Aegis right there, though. Oh, no. Should be good. Juked everything. Oh, we juked everything. No, I didn't get out of the ults. My dual lane kills him, though. Should be a free kill. Nice job. A little bit late from the dual lane to rotate, but I'll take it. I, if I had turned around and just lived there and then played off my one, I would have been fine. Unfortunate. Their Cern got a lot of gold off of me. I was 8-0. He probably got 800 gold. And at this stage of the game, 800 gold for him is a nuts amount of gold. Probably going to finish that XE or whatever. Why is he going Crusher? So the ADC builds have changed. If you guys haven't seen, you aren't really building Aussie anymore. You're going transcendent. You're usually going cowl for life seal, transcendence, and then XE and upgrading that XE early. See him gonna get gold fury. See him gonna get gold fury. Oh, all right. Wait, someone gotten it. Oh my gosh. See him? There we go. Hopefully the enemy team doesn't surrender. They're down 3k gold. Every time I've gotten a 3k gold lead for the past like week, people are quitting. They instantly quit. I don't know why, but they quit. I'm just trying to get this mask online. I need two more levels and I can upgrade the mask. Level 15 masks are nuts. Absolutely crazy. I need some big waves or I need some camps to secure that. This hell's going to die. Uh, I'm going to path greedy. He should see me here if he's paying any attention. There we go. Nice. He wasn't paying attention. We got a, I don't know if you got your zoomed in or what, but you should have seen me for sure. Just start warding if you don't know how to pay attention. Uh, level 14, but we want level 15. I'm going to take this. Our clear is getting really good. Our, we have high damage. We're sitting at 215 uh, power, which is, or not power. Sorry, we're hitting it. Sitting at 215 basic attack damage, 150 power. I don't know what's going on over there. Gilgamesh is doing some dumb stuff, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna ward his speed. Just so I can be extra annoying. Is that you can keep up the snowball is just by being annoying? Oh my gosh, that's really sad. This is Gilgamesh, man. Gilgamesh is a very easy god to play too, so if you're getting punished this hard, it's because you are doing dumb stuff. There's a surrender again. Another 12 minute surrender. At some point, we won't get a 12 minute surrender. I can't wait. I cannot wait. A lot of short matches for you guys to watch uh, for the YouTubes. Free win. Thanks, Bologna. GG's, gamers. GG's. Let's see what the damage is looking like here. Oh, doo -doo -doo. We pumped out 11k damage in 12 minutes. Oh my gosh. There, Guild did the 4k. Oof. Guys, you got to play through that early game. You got to get better at playing through the early game. Hope you guys like the video. Make sure you're liking them. You're literally hitting that like button if you like the videos. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the video later tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the next day.